Chinese New Year to me as a child was an obligation. It was uh, waking up at 7.30 in the morning on a holiday and it was low-key probably kind of upsetting to a five-year-old Nathan. <laughs> So when I was little, we used to do like a big Chinese New Year lunch with the extended family. But now it's pretty much just um, me and my immediate family. Hi there, I'm Nathan Hartono and I just hopped up like a bunny because this year it is the year of the rabbit. And to celebrate the Lunar New Year, I'm going to be preparing two very traditional dishes. Radish cake or lobak go, as well as some rabbit mantos. And I'm not alone, I'm gonna have a friend with me, so come on over. Hi Nathan! Hello there Kiri! So Kiri's gonna be helping me along. So first of all, how about you get started on the mantos? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get started on the radish. So yeah, flour up the board. And I'm gonna get to grating the radish. So we're gonna try and shape this dough into a rabbit shape. Do we have a cutter? We do. We do. Kiri, I have to ask, who is the best cook in your family? Actually, none of us really cook on a regular basis, but if I have to pick, it would be my dad. My dad's dad was a chef. It's street food with like the carts and then... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a, he was like a hawker. I mean, I don't know what the yeah, word is. Yeah, here, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. We're a very traditional culture. Like mm -hmm. you have to adhere to a lot of little traditions or else grandma yells at you. <laughs> yeah. Does anyone in your family in particular like nag you over like what colors to wear during Chinese New Year? We must do laundry before the first day of Chinese New Year and we must not do laundry until like the third day. It's not exactly dress code, but it's kind of like a luck thing where you right. don't wash. Wash the luck. Yeah, yeah. I made a rabbit. Wow, this is really good. Okay, now, it, now looking back, it looks more like a guinea pig in purport. Like it looks, I don't know if you can see that. It kind of looks like a puppy too. Shall we start steaming the bunnies? Let's do that. And then we can get the radish cakes going as well. So let's have your flour in the middle. Oh, look at that. It's like a whole thing. Yeah. Cool. Right, so now we'll, we will set this to steam. Let's do it. Let's do it. Can't wait. On to phase two of this cooking endeavor. Shall we um, make little bunny cut out? Yes, tis the season. Let's make some bunny radish cakes. What dish um, does your family always want to eat? My grandma makes the same noodle dish every year. She's henghua. Mm -hmm. It's like a kind of Hokkien kind of thing. And she makes a lot of dishes from putian. So she makes this putian lor mi. But it's one of my favorite things that she makes and it only happens once a year, so it's like, Aww. yeah. And over the years, like myself and like my siblings, we've kind of been like slowly creeping on her while she's cooking to kind of learn the recipe and like, you know, try to figure out how she does it. But grandma works in mysterious ways, man. So I think we have enough turnip bunnies. I think so. We shall pan fry it. Yes. We did it. All right, let's go take a look. How does the manto? Wow. wow, not too shabby. You know what? All things considered, yeah. all things considered, a little janky, but I, I'm proud of us. I'm proud of what we did today. I'm proud of what we did today. Yeah. I think <laughs> it looks great. Not too shabby for our first try at, at, at rabbit mantos. And also, like, if you could take a look at these radish cakes. I mean, like, these turned out pretty beautiful, if I do say so ourselves. Let's try it. Let's try it. Oh. Let's try it. So it's here on a bit of spring onion, got a little like dried shrimp on top with the lap chung as well. I am genuinely proud of that. I'm not part of my chopstick skills right now, but hey, you know what? Again, we did a pretty great job. How do you think Luna New Year is different for you in Singapore than in Hong Kong? Mm. Or other countries, really? So like, that's a perspective that I wish I had, but because I'm pretty much spending Lunar New Year with my family every year, like, I don't know what it's like in another country. But I truly think like, like depending on where you're from and what your family does, I think everyone does it like a little bit differently. It's just that landmark meals are probably like the same, you know, like the reunion, yeah. the night before, the last day, all that stuff. I'm sure someone out there celebrates Lunar New Year with like burgers and fries. That is probably me. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, it's no secret that the last few years have been kind of tough, especially for 
this very important holiday that is the Lunar New Year. It's like our Christmas and Thanksgiving yeah, and everything, just one. like all mashed into one. I used to like not only celebrate with my family, I celebrate mm -hmm. Lunar New Year with my friends. Yeah, I'm super excited to finally be able to like do it properly again, you yeah. know, for the first time in ages. Well, on that note, no matter where you are in the world, if you celebrate Lunar New Year, very, very happy Lunar New Year to you. 身体健康. Make food for your friends and family and I hope you have the best holidays. Bye!